Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be this current makeup look that I've been doing so often and it all started from when me and my friend did this like fall photo shoot just for fun and I tried out some new combinations of some makeup and I love the way it turned out and I've been wearing it ever since with those new products. So I'll insert a picture here and I love the way the skin turned out. I didn't have to filter or do anything with them. I was just very happy with the way my makeup turned out. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I like to do this like makeup look that I've been doing so often and the products I've been loving and how I've been using them, um, just keep on watching and I hope you enjoy. So this primer is actually an old primer that it took me forever to actually try it out. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I've just been taking just like a little pea size, kind of just putting that on the center of my face, concentrating it there, primarily where all my pores are. And then I kind of just smooth it out to the rest of my face. Where my pores are more prominent, I kind of like to press it in. So after I've given it some time to kind of set into my skin, I go into the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. And then I just take the doe foot and just put it on my skin. And this is a foundation and a concealer. It has a good coverage. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this for now and then I can always build on top of that. So next I'm just taking the this It Cosmetics foundation brush and just blending that out. Okay, so I do my initial round with the brush, and then for some spots that I do want maybe a little bit more coverage, like the acne scarring on my cheeks, I'll just add a little bit more. And then, then I go in with the Beauty Blender. This second step also helps kind of press it more into the skin, making it more natural looking. So I kind of like doing a brush first and then going in with the Beauty Blender. After I'm done blending that with the Beauty Blender, I like to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. And then for those shades, I'm using Light Neutral and Light Medium. So first, I go in with Light Neutral underneath the eyes, just a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. And then I use Light Medium just to kind of brighten up some spots as well as give extra coverage. And then we're just going to take our beauty sponge again and blend all of that out. So I love this combo. It's very full coverage, but yet the Clinique foundation gives it a nice sheen and a natural skin finish to the look. Um, but yet the Tarte Shape Tape is very matte in all the right places. And I honestly think the key to having a really nice base is just blending the crap out of it. There's nothing worse than having streaks, you know, unblended lines, and that just comes with patience, time, and the proper tools. And to set it all, this is a new product that I've been loving lately, and I just bought this a couple weeks ago, and this is the RCMA No Color Powder. It's a translucent setting powder, and it is bomb. But the packaging is like a spice container, so it's so messy. So I just put it in this little flat tin. Take the same beauty blender, I press it into the powder, and then I press it into the skin. So I kind of put it primarily where I did all the concealer, but when I blend it all the way, it kind of covers the rest of the face. Considering that the first time I tried this was for that little photo shoot and there was no flashback, this product is like $12 and it is great. It makes your skin look so smooth. I think I like it better than the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. That's a big statement. So I'm just gonna let this sit and bake for a bit. I'm gonna change my battery and then we'll start on the eyebrows. So the next product that I've been loving for my eyebrows is the MAC Eyebrow Pencil in the color Spiked. I got it in my BoxyCharm and I love it. But the only crappy thing with this pencil, oh shoot, I didn't mean to give you guys a finger, is that there's no freaking spoolie on the bottom of it. 
So I just take a different spoolie, brush out my eyebrows, and then fill them in with the crayon. And that's looking a little bold and crazy right now, so I'm just going to take the spoolie and just kind of brush it through, lightening up some of the product. So I'm just going to go do the other one off camera just to speed things up, and then I'll be right back. So after I finish filling in my eyebrows, I just comb them through and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Eyebrow Gel. And then next is to, let's wipe all of this bake off. So I'm just going to use this Real Techniques Face Powder Brush. I used that bake that I had everywhere to kind of set the rest of my face, like my cheeks. And then it just allows everything else, like your bronzer, your blush, your highlight, to blend easier and more smooth on top. If you kind of have, if your foundation is less sticky, obviously. So let's go ahead and bronze. So the bronzer that I've been loving is a drugstore bronzer. This is the NYC City Proof Bronzer in Sunny. And it says to have 10 hour stay. And I don't know if it's exactly 10 hours, but I've worn this for full days. And normally my cheeks are the first thing to go on my face because I'm like touching my face and resting it. And this stuff lasted, holy moly. Oh, it's just such a nice color too. Like on the camera, it looks very warm, but it's more a, of a like muted tan color. I don't know if all skin tones would be able to wear this. Like if you're super fair, I think this might look too orangey on you. But for my skin tone, I love this bronzer. And it was only $4 at Walmart. Oh, you can't deny that. So I just use this Kabuki contour brush. I feel like the lights are kind of washing it out, but it is beautiful. I highly recommend it. Can't get enough. I'm going to be an Oompa Loompa soon, so I should stop. The blush I used was the MAC blush in Gingerly. And then for that blush, I'm going to just take the Morphe E4. Give it some pats. Now for highlights. This is another drugstore. It is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. So this highlighter is not the type of like boom in your face type of highlight. It is so natural and it's not a chunky glittery kind of highlight either. Um, it's a very natural glow which I really like that and I think this one was I think three or four dollars. I think I got this one at Shoppers, but yeah, very inexpensive and it gives a very nice light natural glow. I think I put on too much, but see how it kind of just makes your skin look wet? It doesn't look like a chunky glittery cheek. Like it just looks like your cheek is wet, which I think is like a prettier type of highlight. I think that looks so nice like it looks very glowy and if you find that your highlight is just a little too strong just go ahead and take your powder brush again and just kind of blend out your cheeks and that'll help take off some of the product but I love that and for that being a drugstore that is so beautiful and this brush that I use to highlight is the Morphe M510 and then whatever highlight I have left on my brush I just kind of go up and down like kind of vertically like this and then that's how I highlight my nose give me a nice shiny mustache and that's everything for skin now for eyes what I did for the photo shoot was just take that same bronzer and just a fluffy crease blending brush this is the Morphe R38 and I just put this in the crease just to give my eyes a little bit of definition makes it look like you tried a little bit more And I think I used the color Yash for my lips, but I think that's in my purse. So I'm just going to use the MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy. So guys, that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So this is the recreation of the look that I used for that fall photo shoot. 
and I love the combination of makeup that I used. Maybe go out and try some of those products. I definitely recommend the highlight and the bronzer. So check out those at your local drugstore, see if they carry it. But other than that, um, if you guys liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. I love talking to you guys and responding to comments. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, the big red button is down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.